We're going to look at taking the data in this PDF and extracting it to a spreadsheet that contains the CAD Enhanced supported simple BGA format. The simple BGA format needs uh, a row for every row letter here and a column for every column number. So first we're going to take a look at what Part Builder expects. So I put these two things together in a spreadsheet. Um, here's the image that we got from the PDF. And so we can see we have a ball A1 VDDQ. So Part Builder wants to see the, it wants to see the row letters in the first column. That's rule number one. And then it wants to see the row numbers across the top, starting at the one F, starting in the column after the row letter, so that it can put together A1 is VDDQ, B2 is VDD, C3 is DQ9, D7 is DQ8, and so forth. And we can see in here that the DRAM has uh, three empty columns. So four, five, and six do not have any pin numbers. And so what we want to get out of able to extract or any spreadsheet ex extractor is a spreadsheet that looks like this. Now there can be an extra row, there can be an extra column in here and there can be extra blank rows, but we can, we have to have the A through T in this column like that. And the, the row numbers have to be contiguous across there. And then of course, all the pin num name and numbers better match up to here. So T1 better be VSS and T9 better be VSS and uh, E7 better be LDM. So let's look at E7 LDM. So that's an intro to what the simple BGA format has to look like. And what we want is to extract a spreadsheet version of this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll try able to extract in automatic mode and we're going to see it doesn't work very well. So we're going to go um, edit and we're going to select a page range and we want to just do page 18. So we say OK. Then it's going to prompt us to what we want. So we want to do Excel and we're going to try to convert it automatically. And we'll save it and convert it. So let's look at what we got for the conversion. And one thing we can do to uh, simplify this is let's set the column width to six. And that'll pull everything back so we can see them all together. And we can see we have A, and then it, not on the same row, we have VDDQ, DQ13, DQ15. Now this would be easy to fix. We can take this and shift it up. So let's just do that and see if we'd want to work that. Um, and now the one is in the A row, A1 row, and the one really needs to be over the VDDQ. So we could fix that too, and we could slide it over like that. And now what we see is there's missing rows here, right? Four, five, six, seven. So we could take this, and we can fix it, and move it to seven, eight, nine. So now we have the picture that we really want. And like we said before, we can have blank rows in here. And so with that little bit of editing, we've made it and we would need to get rid of, we could get rid of this row and we definitely need to get rid of this column because we need the A, B, C, D, E, F, G on this column. And so part builder is going to key off this header and this co this column. So it looks in a in the A column for the A B C D E F G row letters, and then it starts looking in the B um, four column B column for the one two three four five six seven eight nine. It can skip. It can automatically skip this. It's really looking to key off the first time it sees these numbers. We can also see here that this didn't come out right the VSS VDDQ, so we would also have to fix this and get rid of that. And if we did this, well, we'd have a pretty good working spreadsheet that we could go off. Part Builder should be able to read this without a problem. And so what we would do is we save this file, save as, and we want to put it in this directory and we'll call it auto mod 
one. So we modified it. 